Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chrono Plays, the Oculus Rift. It has finally arrived. So, in the one of the previous videos that I made, I went over the HTC Vive, and boy, how did it, people get pissed? I how dare I point out flaws in the Vive? How dare I say bad things about the precious, precious angel of a device? So, for the Rift. I'm going to be, you know, very delicate, very gentle. I'm going to be walking on eggshells, and I'm just going to try not to piss anybody off. Yeah, fuck that shit. I'm going to rip this thing a new one. So let's address the elephant in the room right off the bat. It is May. In fact, it is May 2nd. When I pre-ordered this, I got promised March 28th ship date. On, the, on March 24th, I got an email telling me that it would ship within one to three weeks. We are damn near a month outside of that. Uh, yeah, horrible, horrible shipping issues. Now, the Vive had a few issues, but absolutely nothing compared to the Rift. The Rift is in bad shape. Uh, Shipping-wise, anyways, and I haven't heard very many good things about tech support from them either. So I'm hoping this thing actually works out of the box, because, um, you know, I don't want to be going, having to deal with support and trying to get a, you know, replacement one and take another three fucking months because they have no product to speak of. Ugh. Anyways, let's dive into this thing and see if we can... You know, see, hope, see how it turns out. Hopefully. How do I get this thing out of the box? How do I get this thing out of the box? I would assume I just push. It doesn't want to come out of the box. Come on. Come on. I don't want to damage the box. Come on. Come on. One would think that would be easier, but no. All right, so let's take a quick look at the outer casing. We obviously have the Rift itself here. We have the recommended system requirements. And I want to emphasize that nowhere does any VR company say minimum requirements. And that's because recommended requirements are kind of full of shit as well. It's all going to be based on the software that is used. Um, basically, what they're trying to do there with the recommended requirements is... So that people with, you know, a GTX 680 that might actually be able to run the Oculus Rift in some software playing other software and it runs like shit, even though that other software is going to have its own minimum and recommended requirements. Basically, this is a CYA kind of thing, cover your own ass kind of thing. This quite literally means nothing. And on the back, of course, we have an advertisement for things. Eve Valkyrie, which I do have a code for that I didn't, I never actually redeemed. Uh, Lucky's Tale and Farlands. What the hell is Farlands? I have no idea. Hmm. All right, moving along. The fancy, fancy box that everybody went ape shit over. Uh, boop. We have a serial number on the back. FCC information. That's about it. And the handle kind of confuses me, too, because it's just like a little paracord. Stretchy, springy kind of paracord-type thing. It's kind of weird. How do I open this thing? How do I open this thing? There's a slit right here. I have no idea how... I haven't the foggiest. There's a slit here. Wait, does that mean this whole thing, like, lifts up? Like if I do say, there we go, okay. Oh, that was easier than I thought it would be. All right, so very, very fancy box. And the cables are a little bit more uh, messed up than I would have expected, but you know, whatever, shipping. All right, let's get started. To set up your Rift, go to oculus.com forward slash setup. Now I wanna point out that there is no way to find this on the Oculus website unless you know where you're looking. If you have a DK2 and you want to get the new update so you can actually use current software while you're waiting for your CV1 to show up, 
you have to Google this. There is no link to go to it. And then, of course, it bitches because, you know, it, the DK2 is not supported by you know, uh, Oculus Home. Whatever. I'm a little agitated about that. I, w I was mildly pissed off when I first found out that the software I was trying to use was updated and I didn't know, that, know about that. I didn't want to install Oculus Home, but uh, yeah, there it was. All right, so we have the camera, which I wanted to, yes, there is, I have no idea how the hell to do this shit. Come on. Hmm. Supposedly there's a way to take the base off, which is kind of important for what I intend to do because there is no tripod mount on the bottom of this thing. Yeah, no tripod mount on the bottom of this thing. And having a tripod mount is kind of useful to keep this kind of thing portable. But I don't want to twist too hard. I don't want to break it. I just got it. Huh. Whatever. Well, I'll fiddle with that in a little while. Uh, we have the remote that has a very special spot in here. And its own little wrist guard in case you, you know, want to throw it or something. I have no idea why the hell it's got its own wrist strap. That's a little silly, don't you think? Uh, Touchpad, central button. Ooh, it's the, 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 the circle thing. Whoop. Oh, it's shiny plastic. Shiny plastic pisses me off because it gets fingerprints all over it. But the outer ring is a button, at least one button. It might be four buttons. And then there's a center button in the middle. And I think it's supposed to be a touchpad as well. Volume up, volume down, back button, and an Oculus button. All right. Moving along. Then we have the Rift itself. Damn, this thing's light. I mean, ignoring the cable. The cable, of course, is heavy, but this thing's kind of light, actually. And it looks fairly well balanced, honestly. Huh. All right, then the headphones that everyone has been going on about. Hey, look, to all those people making fun of me for my Hesh video, notice how these things tilt this way towards the front? That's because your ears do that. I just want to emphasize that because the Hesh does not. Ugh. I still get crap for that video tell, saying that the Hesh the Hesh 2 wireless headphones were designed for somebody with a head in the shape of a bowling ball. Ugh. I still get crap for that. All right. The uh, fuzzy cover isn't as fuzzy as I thought it would be. I mean, it's it's fabric. The cover is already covered, or the faceplate is already covered in crap. It's fabric, but it's not like like soft fabric. It's just stretch tight fabric over it. Um, you're not going to have problems with fingerprints on it, at least. That's something that the uh, remote can't say. It looks okay. How do these things come off? Okay, apparently there's a uh, twisty thing on the, in the side of the uh, headset for the headphones. Uh, and we have... <laughs> I love this. I just love this. USB port, HDMI, and nothing else. Take that, Vive. Uh, one of the one of the comments that I've made several times is that the DK2 could be powered 100% off my laptop. I didn't have to plug anything in to get it to work. It looks like the CV1 is much the same. It does not need an external power source. I don't know what that means yet. We will find out. All right. And then continuing to look in the box, because I missed so much stuff in the Vive box. That was my fault. We have the much-hated Xbox One controller. And to be perfectly honest, this is my first Xbox One controller. I don't actually own one. Um, I don't own an Xbox One. But yeah, so Xbox One controller. Holy shit. Okay, I didn't expect that. <laughs> this thing's huge. Um, fuck. 
I mean, yeah, okay, it's supposed to support, like, what, 16 fucking controllers? But holy shit, this thing's huge. And they could have made it a little tiny itty-bitty dongle and made it support, like, two. People would be happy. But no, they had to make this thing four freaking inches long. Hmm. Then in here we have a USB extension cord, probably for the dongle in case you have uh, your computer under your desk, I guess, so much more direct communication, I don't know. Uh, whoop. Let's see, whoop. oh, this is definitely a thing. This is batteries, two double A's, probably for the controller. Yes, no rechargeable batteries. Hmm. Chances are I'm gonna be using my 360 controller more often. There's that little plastic thing that everybody was commenting about. Basically, it's just a flathead screwdriver, a little cheap plastic flathead screwdriver so you can take the headphones off. I'm gonna put that right back. Put that back the other way. Come on. There we go. Okay, so uh, big honkin' watch manual. You ever think that was funny? Uh, you get a watch. You know, little tiny itty bitty watch, and you get a manual, and the manual is like twice as thick as the damn watch. And it's just a simple watch that, you know, I, yeah, okay, it has a, 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 a timer on it, but it doesn't really do anything fancy. But it has a watch the size of Wisconsin. What the hell? But yeah, this is. <laughs> it's that thick. It is the health and safety guide. Okay. Apparently, somebody's a little paranoid about their health and safety. Uh, what are you? You are an Xbox One quick setup guide. Uh, plug it in, hope it works. That's what I'm going to do. Firmware update required for additional audio features. Now there is an audio jack right there. Whoop. It is the Xbox One quick setup guide. Anatel. What the hell? Anatel? What the hell is Anatel? Are you Anatel? What are you? It's a thing that says Anatel. I have no idea what the hell it is. I would assume this is the manual for the Xbox One controller in other languages. Uh, Xbox One accessory product manual. Yeah, okay, whatever. I have no idea what Anatel's for. All right, let's see, is there anything in you can I even pull you out? No, I cannot, so I'm going to assume there's nothing in you. We have... Oculus stickers! The cheapest kind of stickers you can actually imagine because they're just fucking black ovals. <laughs> Get a Sharpie and just go, there, you're done. Um, okay. And of course, a microfiber cloth. A very microfiber cloth, wow. Um, oh, for the lenses, duh, I should actually keep this. I was showing off the Vive the other day, and I didn't have the microfiber cloth to clean the lenses. I should really carry a microfiber cloth. It looks like there's a thing here. Can I pull you out? No. Oh, that's just a hunk of cardboard. It looked like it was a thing in there, but it's just a hunk of cardboard. Uh, that appears to be it. There appears to be nothing else in here, at least that I can see. This doesn't lift up, it's just massive empty space. Come on, get your booklet back in here. There we go, okay. Um, yeah, so apparently that's just that. There's not much to it, apparently. All right, so I'm going to rip all of the plastic things off of it, and I will cut back to when I have everything pointed that way at the computer. Here we are all set up nice and pretty for, well, set up, I guess, technically. Uh, I have not done anything for setup as of yet because I want to record just how much of a pain in the ass this might actually be. I don't know. So let's think. My entire video for the Vive took an hour after I edited out a part where I was looking for headphones that didn't actually exist, which for the record are still sitting right here, 
where I chucked them <laughs> after that video. I have never used them. I have wireless headphones for a reason. I just use those. It's easier. Uh, all right. So let us take a look at this stuff. Um, I know I mentioned that I installed Oculus Home with the DK2. I have since wiped and reloaded, reloaded my PC due to what I originally thought was a corrupt install of Windows 10. Turns out the hard drive controller on my motherboard is going, at least I think that's what's going on. Um, so I actually have trouble booting Windows at all. But yeah, um, Oculus Home, Oculus software has not touched this PC yet. However, Vive software has touched this PC. It's still installed, it still works. It's not plugged in at the moment, uh, but it's still installed. So let's see what happens when they, you know, try to fight each other for control of things. All right, so uh, we have to go to oculus.com forward slash setup. So oculus.com forward slash setup. That's up. Might help if I could spell. All right, so welcome. Download the Rift Setup tool and get started in virtual reality. And something's wrong with my OBS. Hang on. I am recording this wrong, aren't I? Uh, fit to screen. There we go. Okay, now you can see my entire screen. <laughs> uh, 1440p setting, 1080p recording. Okay, so now that it works. Anyways, uh, so start download. Save file. Oculus setup. Yes. I wonder if that recorded in OBS. Hmm. Because it recorded in Shadowplay. Uh, because Shadowplay is actually kind of interesting. Welcome to Rift. We'll start by installing Oculus software. Then you can create an Oculus account and set up your Rift. You'll need internet access in about 30 to 60 minutes to get set up. All right. Uh, I have read and agreed to the Oculus privacy policy. Well, I have read it. I don't agree to it, but whatever. And terms of service. I guess I have to agree. Uh, health and safety warning. To reduce the risk of injury or discomfort, each user should read and follow all included warnings and instructions before use. In using this setup, you will lose the ability to see and hear what's actually around you. Use caution to avoid injury. Allow adequate space all around and above you for full body motion. Loss of balance may occur. Stop use if you experience any discomfort or health reactions. For latest version, see oculus.com forward slash warnings. I'll, I'll sum it up for you. Don't use the damn thing because it'll fuck you up. That's pretty much what these warnings come down to, is uh, they throw everything out there. You know, potential for eye damage, potential for falling over. Um, if you actually read these things, it's actually kind of terrifying, even though half of them aren't even remotely true, and the other half are only slightly true. Uh, they do it for two reasons. One, because of lawsuits. Of course, lots of companies do lots of things because of lawsuits. That's why there's a warning on your hair dryers to say do not use in the bathtub it's because somebody fucking sued people for it or at least threatened to i don't know if that actually happened or if that's just a myth hmm but we live in a lawsuit happy world so something everybody has to be concerned with uh and two it's because of well technically litigious assholes lawsuits again um because people are so terrified of new technology and what might occur, uh, they, people freak the hell out. And then if anything potentially goes wrong, lawsuits get thrown around. Um, so because we don't un fully understand how people's eyes will react to having a screen this far from your face, people freak the hell out. Um, even though because very, very intelligent people have designed lenses on these things, uh, on all headsets. Well, okay, most headsets. I'm sure there are some headsets out there that are cheap pieces of crap that aren't designed properly and you have eye strain problems. But um, but the, the, the big names, the, the Rift, the Vive, the Gear VR, um, what, what's that open source one? OSVR? 
Oh, fuck, I forget. But the one where you actually build it yourself, that one, um, I'm sure it was designed by people who actually know what the hell they're talking about, and it's actually no risk whatsoever. Um, anyways, let's just move on. Uh, I understand. I understand quite a bit, actually. Uh, install Oculus software. It has to be installed under C program files. Ooh, there's a change drive button. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's take a look at my drive. So we have C, my system drive, D, my recording drive, and E, storage. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff. I also have an F drive, which is an external hard drive, which I'm guessing that's why they're not giving me that option. Um, but that, that's fucking hilarious. I can't tell it where, it, where to install. My change drive is literally changing just the drive, and it rotates through my hard drives. That's hilarious. Um, I'm going to throw this on my E drive, my storage drive, because, well, actually, there's not that much storage space on it. 462 gig free, but uh, compared to my system drive, which is 182 gig free, I think I'm going to go with my storage drive. And the recording drive always sits independently, because that's where all the recordings go to. I want... Uh, data to be read off of one drive and written to another drive to increase performance. Okay, so uh, E, Oculus. Um, apparently they fixed that problem because apparently you couldn't change that before, so apparently they fixed that problem in the intervening month. Uh, and it's downloading the software, 844 meg. And it's not doing it quickly. Yeah, that's something I didn't cover in the Vive one, and I should probably cover in this one. There's an IPD setting, uh, interpupillary distance setting. So you can actually slide this back and forth. Oh, you push it in, and it slides back and forth, and it will actually change the cups inside back and forth to have a better sweet spot for your eyes. Um, from my understanding, from my experience, I actually have a uh, fairly normal IPD. So I'm going to leave it at its center setting. Hmm. All right. The padding is not very thick on this. That's okay. Um, this fabric on the uh, on the cups are just kind of weird, aren't they? Hmm. Makes third-party cups damn near impossible, then, huh? That's. I'm sure that's kind of annoying for people. Because you know, I wear glasses. Hopefully, these glasses actually fit in this damn thing. Um, but, uh, there was a company out there making cups, uh, replacement cups for the DK2 and the DK1 for, there were prescription cups. Um, you can't do that with these ones unless you want to tear it apart, and I don't want to tear it apart. Hmm. Though, by coincidence, I wouldn't be buying those anyways, because I want to keep this thing portable and for as many people as possible. So I wouldn't be able to use the cups anyways. Uh, I'm looking at how the strap works. Okay, so there's a Velcro strap there. All right. And then apparently there's a Velcro strap here. And you pull? I haven't the foggiest. What, what the hell? How does one go about adjusting? They're stretchy. Okay, they're springy. All right, that makes, should make life a little bit easier for showing this thing off. Okay. Hopefully my ears aren't in weird positions, but I guess that's not a big problem this way. Hmm. I guess I'll find out. Okay, we're installing now. Anything else fairly interesting about this thing's designs? The cups are soft, I guess. Hmm. I'm very curious how well the... Uh, audio is because apparently like I've heard so much shit about the Vive or pff, I've heard so much shit about the Vive too but no I've heard so much shit about the Rift I mean everything 100% everything's absolutely fucking horrible with this thing it's so terrible it's like half of what the Vive can do and seriously you fanboys need to shut the fuck up okay we know you're full of shit and you're talking about things you have no idea about um 
but uh, even the worst reviews I have ever heard about this thing have always ended with, but the headphones are really good. So I really want to hear them. Hmm. Okay, so uh, it is installed. Next, you can create an Oculus account and set up your Rift. Oh, it hit itself. Uh, already have an Oculus account, sign in or create an account. Hmm. Which do I want to do? I know. I do want to create an account. Because I just remembered when I played with Oculus Home before, it showed my real name. No. Bad Oculus. It was always up there. Oculus Home was right there. It was always there. Couldn't make it go away. Couldn't change it. Couldn't hide it. Couldn't do fuck all about it. No. Bad Oculus. That was bad Oculus. Never show your real name. Not if you want people to actually put this shit up on YouTube and actually do free advertising for you. Never show real names. So I'm going to create an account. Create your Oculus username. Uh, betcha. Betcha that one's taken. Um, boop. Create your Oculus account. Hmm. All right. Nobody look. Okay, you can look again. Please check your email. We've sent a verification email to this address. Have you? Because I didn't get a blip. There's my blip. Uh, welcome to Oculus. Hi, thanks for creating an Oculus account. Uh, do I have to, I don't have to click on anything. It's just, it's telling me what my uh, account information is. Oh, once you validate your email, you'll be ready to go. Please click this link. Click. I'm sorry I'm doing this on the phone and not actually on the screen. I'm trying to keep my email a little bit more private. Okay. Oh, there we go. Success. Go back to the Oculus app to continue setup. All right, account created. Continue. Choose your picture. Mm, can I upload? Oh, I can upload a picture. Uh, recording, pics. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? What the hell? Um, half of my pictures are missing from this thing. Seriously. Oof. Recording. Pics. Yeah, it's right there. It's probably a ping file, but come on. It's just a ping file. Can you really not read ping files? The hell are you? You are a JPEG file, so it can only read JPEG files. Are you shitting me? It can only read JPEG files. That is silly. All right. Got to edit me up a file. There we go. Now we got an actual picture. Oy, okay. Uh, this is how people will see you. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Oh, it auto-cropped. Oh, that's good. It auto-cropped the circle so there wasn't all that white space. That's why I keep it as a ping file because it's transparent in the background. Uh, friends can see your real name. Okay, so... Real name. Friends can see your real name. Anyone can search for you by real name or username. No. <laughs> I don't plan on doing multiplayer with this. I probably don't plan on doing mul or I plan. I probably don't plan on using this account. I haven't decided yet. So friends can see the app and device you're using. Anyone can see your friends list. Hell no. Why is that even a... Oh. Facebook. Duh. I was about to say, why is that even a default? That's stupid. Duh. Facebook. Confirm. 
I do the same thing in Facebook too. Uh, in the card, I fuck no, I'm not adding a payment method. Screw off. Set up a pin. A pin makes it easy to approve purchases of VR games and more. Your pin needs to be four digit number. Okay. Um Hmm. I have to make up a pin? Alright. Again, nobody look. Okay, you can look again. Uh, let's set up your Rift. Take your headset center remote and control out of the packaging. Okay, done. Get to know your Rift. Please remove the protective films. There's actually only one on the eyes. But I think I saw two while I was pulling it out of the box. So I think maybe, maybe, maybe it just uh, fell off. Hmm. Damn plastic static. Uh, let's uh, unwrap this guy. How's one go about doing that? Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. My cat's bringing me a present. A little fuzzy mouse. <sighs> I have no idea what she means when she brings me a little present. She doesn't want fed. I fed her already. She doesn't want to play. She just brings me a mouse and then sits there and stares at me. No idea why. Hmm. All right, so that's all that stuff out. Uh, lenses are fragile. Please handle your headset with care and do not drop. Connect your Rift headset and Oculus sensor. All right, plug in the cables for your headset and sensor now. You will need two USB 3 ports on your computer and one HDMI port on your computer's graphics card. All right. That shouldn't be too big of a problem. Ugh. Whee! All right, so not that long of a cable, but hey, we ain't doing room scale, so... I know exactly where my HDMI port is. So USB three. Hopefully that'll be content with USB three point one because I don't have a spare USB three port on the back, and I can plug it in on the front because the uh, cord won't reach far enough. So hopefully it'll be happy on uh, USB 3.1. No, I have no idea what the difference between 3 and 3.1 is. Apparently there's a speed difference, but uh, I never researched it. All right, so camera. Ugh. All right, now. Yes, okay, so. Whee. Base station. Screw that, because I need to make this semi-portable. And part of semi-portable is being able to put this thing pretty much anywhere. And to do that, I have a tripod. That's what I use all the time. So this is a very important test to me. Which front? Okay, I'm going to assume that's back since it actually says Oculus on it. And I would assume that the camera, like the lens, wouldn't say Oculus. Um, no liquid cleaners. Okay. Microfiber. All right. Yeah, I, I'm going to assume that's the front. I mean, it kind of looks like a front. Plug you in. Screw you in. Well, that's a problem. The screw's in the entire way. This thing is not designed with tripods in mind. Hmm. All right, that's going to be problematic.
I'm going to have to improvise something on that. I don't know what yet. Let's set you right here. Come on, don't interfere with the camera. Yeah, that's never gonna work right. Gonna have to figure out something to do with that. I don't know what, but I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with that. Hopefully that'll stay there well enough. Uh, obviously this USB cable is not long enough to reach my PC way over there. It's designed to be sat on a desk. Um, conveniently, I have a USB 3 extension cord. You get these cheap off of Amazon. Oh. Boop. Right. You're plugged in. Sensor USB, what is your problem? Your sensor is plugged into a USB 2.0 port. No, it's fucking not. You can continue with your setup as is, or you can improve your experience in VR by moving your sensor to a USB 3 port. Okay. That's definitely a USB 2 port. It's supposed to be a USB 3 extension cord. Okay, so it's the problem with the cord. All right, extension cord, whatever. That's going to be a problem. And that's going to be a problem, too. The cable's just kind of hanging here. All right, start your Oculus remote. So, Oculus remote, pull out the battery tab. Come on, what the shit? Come on. Holy fucking hell. What the ball sack, Oculus? Ah, there we go. Jesus. That was stupid. I'm gonna have to get a pair of pliers to yank that out. Jesus. Uh, about your remote. Select button, navigation disk. I'm going to assume the navigation disk is shockingly like the iPod setup. Uh, volume down, volume up, duh. Back button, duh. And universal menu, duh. Kind of obvious, actually. Uh, updating the firmware for your remote gives you the best experience in VR. Do not unplug or turn off your computer, headset, sensor, or controllers during this update. Controllers? Why did you have to turn off my screen? Oh! There's a light on the button. On the central button there. It blinks. And I guess it's doing a thing. Why is there a light there? What the hell's the point of a light being there? I mean, shit, when you're using this thing, you're supposed to have the headset on. So what the fuck's the point of having the light there? Why are you making my screen go black because you're updating a fucking remote? Uh, set up your Xbox One wireless controller, uh, remove the wireless adapter, USB extender, two AA batteries from the package, and get your Xbox controller. Well, let's get you started. Uh, boop. Connect your Xbox wireless adapter. Do you have to be USB 3? Are you sure as fuck better not be 3? I mean, it's a fucking controller. It shouldn't have to be 3. Yes, I know. I'm skipping steps. I'm inserting batteries. Ah, uh, you're positive. Wait, which end's positive? I always... I, for some reason, I actually forget. You're positive. You're negative. Alrighty. Does that say hello from Seattle, by chance? No, I didn't see a hello from Seattle. 
Oh, it does. It says hello from Seattle. <laughs> Don't ask me why I find that funny. I don't I don't know. All right. Then plug in the USB adapter. You are going in a USB 2 port. This thing's fucking huge. Boop boop boop. Start your Xbox controller by pushing the button. By pushing the button. There it goes. Uh, press and hold the Xbox button, it'll start to blink. And then press the sync button on the wireless adapter. Boop. So I have to press and hold. There's supposed to be an LED blinking. There is no LED blinking. Um, the controller stopped blinking. That thing never blinked. Okay, it never did pair. Okay, so far, no, no good. working. It's not doing anything. Device manager. It's not showing up as an installed device. Or is it... Sh the drivers for this device are not installed. You didn't say that part, did you, Oculus? It's fucking Windows 10. It's a fucking Xbox One controller specifically designed for a version of Windows 10. Why the hell is it not installing? <sighs> Windows cannot find the driver for your device. If you know the manufacturer for your device, you can visit the website and check the support section for driver software. I am a confused. Very, very confused. All right, well, that's worthless. Boop, skip that. Can't use the Xbox, you know, Xbox One controller since Windows 10 doesn't know what the fucking Xbox One controller is. Now, I'm going to blame that on Windows 10. I'm not blaming that on Oculus, I'm blaming that on Windows 10 and specifically my install of Windows 10. Uh, because Windows 10, it's horribly, horrifyingly inconsistent. One person having problems is going to be another person having absolutely zero problems. It's just horrifyingly inconsistent. But you know what's not inconsistent? This fucker works. You know, I kept this fucker for a reason. Done! Oh, and for the record, the, oh, yep, it just finished installing its drivers. It knows what a 360 controller is, it has no fucking clue what an Xbox One controller is. Um, yeah, for the record, that controller has not been plugged into this PC since I wiped and reloaded. Uh, set up your Oculus sensor. Your sensor works with a headset to track and match the movement in VR. Alrighty, it's already plugged in, it's pointing right over there. Uh, how tall are you? I am six foot four. Um, oh, I'm apparently 193 centimeters. I thought it was like 170 something. I don't know. I'm not metric. I use old school measurements based off of some asshole's foot. Place your sensor where you'll be using your rift at least three feet away from you. Point and tilt the glossy side of the sensor towards your face. Remove anything that blocks you from the sensor. 
Okay, that's pointed at my face. Confirm sensor tracking. Get your headset and go to where you'll be using VR. Move the headset from side to side, down towards the floor, in front. Um, Howdy. Wee. Okay, sensor tracking confirmed. Sweet. That thing feels a lot more solid than the Vive. It really does. Uh, personalize your Rift. We designed the Rift to, for comfort and performance. We'll show you how to get the most comfortable fit and calibrate your headset for the best VR experience. Next. Uh, tracking triangle. Now, if I remember correctly, it's the tracking triangle because there's actually LEDs in the back of the thing, so you can actually turn around and still be tracked. So it can, you know, you can turn around and not have a problem with it. Uh, on your headphones, uh, top tab, tab, it's a Velcro strap, dude, uh, side tab, what the hell is that for? Why is there a side tab? Oh, okay, I see. Um, so apparently this is some kind of rubber which makes it stretchy, which is kind of nice. Alrighty then. Uh, take a moment to notice the adjustable features on your headset by customizing the way your headset fits You'll have a more comfortable VR experience Next customize your fit loosen the size tab halfway and top tab all the way then angle the headphones out Gently put on the headset back to front If it starts to slide down tighten the side tabs a bit then the side tab when the side tabs feel comfortable uh, tighten the top tab then push the headphones against your ears. All right. So, uh, what did it say? Loosen this top thing the whole way. Doink. I don't think my head's that big, but whatever. Uh, loosen this, the side tabs halfway. Uh, loosen the side tabs halfway. All right. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. And then put on the headset back to front. There's already cat hairs on this thing. <laughs> I'm touching the lenses. Fingerprints on it. All right, back to front. Oddly enough, I do not like that. Anyways, all right. back to front. Well, that answers that question. Fuck you, Oculus. Fuck you. I think it might be a little too loose. Apparently I'm supposed to see something. I think it says set up mode. Um, Rift isn't ready for you just yet. Continue with setup on your computer. Yeah, hey, Oculus, um, people have glasses. A significant number of people are nearsighted. And I mean a lot of people are nearsighted. Mm. You know what's also kind of funny about all this? Uh, when Oculus was first advertised, you know, way back in the day, uh, it was advertised as having a specific setup like the, uh, the the padding on the side, specifically for people with glasses. Um, well, right before they went on pre-order, it went away. It doesn't say that anymore. All right. Can I even fit my glasses in here? Barely. I can barely fit my glasses in here. Let's see. Can I put this thing on? Mm, mm. Okay. It is physically possible for me to do this. All right. It's just a bitch getting this over my glasses. Oh, the headphones go up and down. Oh, that's neat. All right. Now I can actually read it. Setup mode. Rift isn't ready for you just yet. Continue with setup on your computer. 
I don't like the fact that I can see lines like right here in my vision where it looks like the screen's not actually lit um, or possibly that the screen isn't there. I like being able to see the world, Oculus. My glasses are smeared now. All right, anyways, next. Confirm your fit. Uh, your Rift fits if the spring in the headset should make it easy to take off your headset and put it back on without additional adjustments, unless you have glasses. Uh, the tracking triangle sits low and centered on the back of your head, so there's only a slight amount of pressure on your cheeks. Cheeks? It's never touched my cheeks. It went up over my temples. Or does it mean other kind of cheeks and I'm wearing it way the fuck too high? Um, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. There's too much pressure on my... Oh, 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 okay, okay. So on the on the headset, the bottom of the headset itself, uh, it shouldn't be pushed in. Uh, your headset sit easily over your ears. I like how these go up and down. Like, uh, the whoop, Because I was, I was kind of worried about that. Because they were the whole way down um, when I put it on the first time, and it didn't, you know, they were too low. And pushing them up actually, you know, worked. I was kind of surprised about that. Uh, boop. Fit complete. You should be, e or it should now be easy to take off and put on your headset without additional adjustment. Um, I actually did, you know, hear a lot about the fit for the Rift, and from my understanding, so this is what I'm going with, and that's how I set it up initially, is that you actually wear this looser than you think you would. Um, it's supposed to just like rest on your face very gently and that's how it's supposed to work. Um, unlike the Vive, whereas if you do that, it constantly slides down and you have to keep pushing it up. That is something I noticed Saturday when I was displaying it up at the New Kensington Better Block, like I said in a previous video. Um, a lot of people have to keep pushing up the Vive even when I try to adjust it properly. Um, they have to keep pushing up the Vive and it, yeah. It's kind of annoying. I guess we'll see if that's the same problem with the Rift. Boop. Prepare your space. Make sure you have lots of space to move, ar move around while using your Rift. Move anything away that you might bump into or tip over. I'm going to point this out. This seems a little bit uh, stupid to me. During the instructions, the dude was sitting in front of his monitor. Sitting in front of his monitor and he adjusted the camera to point at his face. Now you're telling me to get rid of all of the shit that's in here and stand up. So now that the camera that you've already adjusted is pointing about here. Does this strike anybody else as stupid? Yeah, no, we don't have a sitting experience. Uh, find the lens slider, look for the lens slider on the bottom of your headset by pushing in and sliding the lens slider. I've already pointed this part out. You can adjust the distance between the lenses in your headset. This improves the clarity in VR. Um, can't tell right off the bat, because uh, it was just like text floating in the air for what this thing was telling me. Um, so I can't tell from clarity, but from the looks of just that text, it looked like I did have it in the right spot. I apparently do have very middle of the road IPD. Boop. Uh, enter VR. Stand up and face the center. Fuck you. Attach the remote to your wrist in a lanyard. Put on your headset. Now, here's the million dollar question. Will this thing show up there so you guys can see it? Let's find out. Uh, oh, come on. Come on. There we go. I can't see shit because my glasses fell off trying to put on. Whoop. Okay. Whew. All right. Ooh, that's disgusting. No, it is not showing up anywhere. I was hoping it'd show up on the monitor. Basically, what I'm seeing on the screen right now, there's a green cross, and it says, adjust your lenses. Move the headset up and down on your face until the horizontal lines are clear. Push in and shift the lens slider until the vertical lines are clear. But this isn't doing the VR thing where it stays put and I move 
my head. It's moving with me. Uh, Oculus that causes motion sickness. I actually kind of know why they're doing it, though. It does kind of make sense. All right. Um, push in and shift the lens slider until the vertical lines are clear. Uh, well, they actually look very clear to me right now. Okay. To continue, press the select button on your remote or the A button on your controller. Select button? There's a select button? Oh, I bet you it's the center button. Boop. I've got a thing. Can you see it? No. Why the hell not? Hang on. Let's take this damn thing off. There's no point in continuing the video if you can't see what the hell's going on. My glasses need clean and the freaking lens flare on that is disgusting. All right, uh, Oculus, 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 where is your, um, boop, boop, no, that's a BS. That's still, a, uh, where, oh, where, oh, where would that setting be? Open freaking OBS. There is no Oculus thingamabob. How do I, I can't mirror the screen. At least right now, I can't mirror the screen. See, the Vive was nice. It went through the tutorial, it showed it on the screen, and there's a nice little button. Literally, it's a drop-down menu. It says mirror on monitor. Very nice. Very good. Um, for the record, was absolutely necessary during that display that I did Saturday. People loved it. Um, but there is no Oculus button down here. That's Creative Cloud. That's also Creative Cloud. Fuck you, Adobe, for putting two icons on my taskbar. Um, yeah, no. All right, I guess I have to go through this setup alone. I'm sorry. Um, I'll pop back in. I'll keep recording, and I'll pop back in if there's anything stupid that comes up. Um, yeah, let's... let's Mm. That's annoying. That is very annoying. There's not a lot of airflow in this thing. Ah! Volume down, damn it. Are you mirroring? Oh, you're mirroring! Okay, you can see what I can see now. Sweet. I can see things. I can see the edge of the screen right here. Seriously. Um, you can skip any experience by pressing the... What the hell? I missed that. I was too excited about actually getting a mirrored fucking screen. It's still mirrored, right? Yes, okay, you can see a little bit of, hey, animals. Um, okay, so we got a deer, a bunny, and a fox, and apparently there are fish somewhere around here. Well, screw you two. I'm looking around. Fuck you. There's a fish. Okay. Um, am I supposed to do a thing? There's a bird. I get those things out front in my yard. They're cardinals. Cardinals? I think. Red birds. But... Ah! Fucking hell! You are a creepy motherfucker. You know that. <laughs> you are creepy. Yeah, well, fuck you, too. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry I stink. I've been under studio lights. What are you supposed to be, the Reddit dude? That thing was creepy. Oh, I hope that recorded. Hey, I'm on the edge of a building. I'm in Gotham. NX-709 Seraph? The world awaits Oculus Rift. Wait, that fits so perfectly. The world awaits for it because it's still awaiting it. Yes, I'm still cracking jokes about the shipping. Hi. Who 
get some toothpaste. He's off to get some toothpaste. And I'm back. I have been able to play maybe about, I don't know, 20 minutes of uh, games on this thing. Uh, it's been about, uh, I don't know, two, three hours since I recorded the last part about it, but I've only had a chance to play about 20 minutes of the game. I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, first off, I have a list of things that I want to talk about because the last time I recorded this outro, um, I forgot the number one most important bitch that I have about this. But let's start with the physical construction of this thing. Um, the uh, nose guard here is very deep. So uh, when you're sitting in and it's in the sweet spot, it sits very well below the nose. So your nose is very much up inside this thing. Um, and it makes me feel like I'm suffocating. Like it gets stuffy and then I, it's hard for me to breathe. And it, it, I get, you know, it's like I'm suffocating and I don't like it. Well, I can imagine nobody would like that feeling, a feeling of being suffocated. Um, so I have to push it up on my head so that my nose is sticking down below the nose shield here. Um, but of course that pushes my eyes outside of the sweet spot on the lenses and everything looks blurry. So it's kind of a problem, kind of a big problem there. Um, but I'm going to blame that on me, not on the rift itself. I always have a problem with things being around my nose. Um, even pulling up a scarf in winter over my nose, it, it gets stuffy and it makes me feel like I'm suffocating. So I'm going to blame that on me, uh, but it's something to think about if you have similar problems to my problems. Um, the second big thing about this physical design is that it most definitely was not designed with glasses in mind. It's damn near impossible to put on when you have glasses on. Um, it is not designed with the depth for glasses in mind. You know, it's it keeps pushing my glasses up into my face and that causes smudging on my glasses, which I constantly have to clean. It's very, very annoying. Uh, my glasses barely fit in here, and apparently my glasses are relatively small glasses, like horizontally, so a lot of people's glasses are never going to fit into this thing. Now, it's supposed to come off, like the faceplate here uh, apparently comes off somehow. I don't know how exactly, um, and I don't want to just pull really, really hard. But apparently it comes off somehow, and it was supposed to be replaced by one that actually supports glasses, but uh, they got rid of that before pre-orders went live, apparently. So, uh, yeah, that's annoying as shit. Um, but that's really all I have problems with uh, design-wise. I mean, it fits, it stays on my head, it doesn't slide down my face like the Vive does. It stays put. And I like that. That's actually pretty cool. Um, so let's take a look at the lenses, the uh, screen itself. Uh, the screen door effect is noticeable, but it's not a problem. So it, it's, le it's less prominent than on the Vive, but just like the Vive, the second you start paying attention to what's in the game or whatever else application you're running at the time, once you start paying attention to that, you never notice the screen door. Just straight up never notice it. You have to specifically be looking for it. So, um, yeah, so uh, the Rift has the best in when it comes to screen door effect. Uh, the Vive is a very, very close second. The DK2 is a little bit further third, and, you know, we all know the DK1 just sucked for that hard. Uh, the resolution is basically the same as the Vive because the screen resolutions are basically the same. Um, it might, might 
uh, show more pixels. Uh, you know, just in the lenses, it might show more pixels than the Vive, but that's because it would seem that it's showing you more of the screen to the point where I'm actually seeing the edges of the screen and it's really distracting and really disorienting. I don't like it, but it seems to be happening and it's kind of, kind of a problem there. Um, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Motion sickness. Uh, I do get motion sick with this. Uh, I was playing Lucky Tales. Lucky's Tail. Yeah, Lucky's Tail. Possessive Tail. Um, and it's a fun game. I like the game. It's a really good platformer. I like the interesting concept where you can look around the 3D environment. I keep trying to flick the controls over to move the camera around. Obviously, that doesn't work in VR. But uh, you can actually... You know, look around the game, and it's actually really neat. I like it. Uh, there was one problem where I was having the little character come this way, and it didn't want to pull back fast enough, so I couldn't see what was going on, so I had to keep looking down at, at my chest, and it just wasn't working all that well. Um, yeah, so the small problem with that, but... Obviously, with the moving and I'm not actually moving, it gives the potential for motion sickness. Um, but when I was in Oculus Home, like very early on, I'm sitting there in Oculus Home. This is after I stopped recording because it's not, you know, duplicated on the screen there. Should close that. I was reading up on the, the uh, Vive and the Oculus while I was waiting for the oven to preheat. Um, I'm hungry. So, uh, yeah, I noticed that I was getting a little motion sick just in Oculus Home. And I'm like, why am I getting motion sick? I shouldn't be getting motion sick. Uh, and then I realized it a little bit later exactly why that's happening. And that's because the camera, you notice it's not on the tripod anymore. Um, the camera is broken. Mine is anyways. It keeps disconnecting from the computer constantly. Um, I was installing Lucky's Tail, and while it was downloading Lucky's Tail on my PC, it disconnected six or seven times in the, you know, 45 minutes that it was downloading. I wasn't even using it, wasn't shaking the cord, wasn't doing anything, wasn't even moving. And it disconnected itself and then reconnected itself. Constantly. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I know this computer has some problems. You know, we ha I mentioned the hard drive problems initial or in the beginning of the episode where I figured, okay, maybe it's uh, the motherboard going again because, well, the motherboard has its problems. So I got out my laptop, my gaming laptop. Now, for the record, this laptop works flawlessly, almost flawlessly, 99% flawlessly with the Vive, okay? It works great. Plug in the Vive and go. It just works. Same exact problem. Plug that, or plug the camera into its own USB 3 port running on its own USB 3 uh, controller keeps disconnecting. Uh, it's just weird as fuck. It, it, you know, I'll be sitting there, I'll be doing a thing, I'll be perfectly still, and all of a sudden the camera just goes that way. And it just suddenly jumps from here to here. And I'm like, wait, what the fuck? What? what? No, what the hell? Um, and then it'll flash back and forth a little bit and everything will just be all kinds of screwy. Um, it actually got to the point where I had to unplug the camera. The game paused um, and popped up a little warning. You know, we lost the, lost the connection to the camera, plugged it back in, and then it was working again. So it's something wrong, as far as I can tell, it's something wrong with the camera. Um, but it might be Windows 10 because the wireless dongle for the Xbox One controller also does not work on the laptop. Now, again, a little clarification, this laptop is the only computer that I own and have experience with that I can honestly say I have never had problems with Windows 10 on. But this thing 
will not install. It does the same exact thing. It says cannot install your Xbox ACC driver. So I, look, I Googled it. I looked it up to see what the hell was going on. And apparently it's a very common problem in Windows 10. Um, the driver just refuses to install. Something glitches somewhere and the drivers refuse to install. Now, apparently the drivers are built into Windows 10. So this isn't something like I don't I have, you know, Windows updates disabled or some such nonsense like that. No. The drivers are already there. Windows 10 is just not installing them. That's why it does not work. Uh, Windows 10 is not finishing what it's supposed to finish. So apparently that's a problem with Windows 10. Um, so maybe, maybe, maybe it's a problem with Windows 10. However, I do not have a PC to test with. I have no idea if the camera is straight up broken or if it is Windows 10. That's the problem with Windows 10 is that it's so goddamn inconsistent I can't actually properly test hardware anymore. I cannot trust it enough to test hardware. So I've got to figure out how to, what the hell to do with that. Um, I may be going back to Windows 7. Uh, but I miss out on DirectX 12 because Microsoft's a dick. Ugh, that's annoying as shit. All right, anyways. Uh, so Xbox controller not working on Windows 10. That's annoying as fuck. Um, but you know what does work perfectly? The original Xbox 360 controller, the one I've been using for years now, the one I keep going back to after all of the other controllers just kind of fail for one reason or the other. Um, but this guy, the Steam controller, Steam controller was designed by an idiot, I'm going to tell you that much. I mean, it works, and it works well enough. The touchpads are okay. Uh, there is potential for it to work with a uh, first-person shooter without too much of a problem. However, whoever thought that the only way you can use the Steam controllers through fucking Steam was a goddamn moron. And I'm going to say that straight up. Whoever thought that the only way that you can use the Steam controller is to use it through Steam is a fucking moron. If you want a controller to actually take over, you have to make sure that it works with fucking everything. But no, you decided that no, the only way you can manipulate it is via the Steam overlay. And not just the Steam overlay, but Steam Big Picture. You have to open Steam Big Picture to run the game to manipulate the controller. And of course, that's all based on per game. So the second you close out of the game, all the settings are reset. That's a dumbass idea. <sighs> Uh, I've used the PS4 controller plugged directly into my computer and it worked. It worked fairly well. Um, I don't like it because I don't have a USB cord long enough. So I keep going back to the Xbox 360 controller because it just fucking works. And it does just work. So all of that, you know, all of those people bitching about the Xbox One controller being in the, you know, being included in with the Rift because they already have an Xbox 360 controller, they were right to complain, because it works perfectly fine with the Xbox 360 controller. In fact, that's the only way I can get it to work. Ugh. That's not the worst. As much as I'm pissed off about this stuff, that is not the worst. I have yet, on either of my PCs, I have yet been able to open an application, an, a known Oculus-compatible application, outside of uh, uh, Oculus Home. And don't don't even go the whole, you have to allow unknown developers in Oculus Home. I know that. I've bitched about that. I think that's stupid as fuck and is going to cause this thing more problems than Oculus even realizes. I know that. I've enabled that. I've allowed unknown sources. Fun fact, that's not the problem. I, I had Oculus Home installed on this thing with the DK2, and I've run software that I know works with, you know, the Oculus, the, the Rift, um, it, without that enabled, and it pops up and says, hey, you have to enable this. That's not happening here. The software is not seeing the Rift, period. It's opening full screen. It's not even trying VR. It's just opening full screen. <sighs> 
Again, I haven't had much time to play with this because I've been fiddling with hardware issues trying to get things to work. I tried to play Lucky's Tale, the damn camera kept jerking around, uh, installed it on the laptop, it worked for about, I don't know, 15 minutes before it gave me crap, and then I had to unplug it, plug it back in again, and it worked for another five minutes, and then I went, you know what, I'm hungry, I'm going to make some food, and that's what's happening right now, it's actually cooking right now. Um, yeah, so, I am not too thrilled with this thing. As of right now, as it stands, now, I'm going to have to contact support to work on the camera, to figure out what the hell's wrong with the camera. I'm not happy about that, because apparently Oculus's support sucks. You know, everybody's probably so busy with all the crap that happened with the shipping, that of course they can't keep up with the support calls. That's going to suck. Um... You know, I have the problem with the glasses, I have a problem with the controller. I have all of these problems with this thing. And as it stands right now, as it stands with my admittedly, admittedly very limited experience with this thing so far, as it stands right now, I cannot in good conscience recommend this thing to anybody. I can't. Um, it's got massive problems. And primarily, I think there's software problems, so maybe they will be fixed in the future. But uh, as it goes with every pre-order, don't pre-order unless you want what's given right now. And what is given right now, I cannot recommend. However, the headsets are fucking amazing. The headphones are fucking amazing. 